Hey guys, how's it going? So, I'm sorry about my past couple of videos. Uh, you know, I try to keep my page as drama free as I can, but, um, <clears throat> you know, I am pretty protective of this hobby, as you guys can probably tell from my videos. I take this hobby very seriously, as much as it's extremely fun for me, it's also something that's very serious to me as well. And the reason that I've taken such a stand against this is because, um, you know, with talking to quite a few people about her and how she does things and how she treats people, a lot of people feel bullied to the point that they just don't want to stand up to her because they know that she's going to cause them headaches. And that to me is something that really, really pisses me off that people feel like they can basically just be taken advantage of and there's nothing they can do to fix it. Like, they don't even want to try to stand up to her because she's just going to cause them drama. Whereas with me, <clears throat> I don't care what she tries to do. There's nothing she can really do to me. I haven't implicated her. I haven't, you know, um, threatened her harm or anything like that. You know, I've been very careful in what I've said to her. And I am actually going to make my inboxes public for you guys to read them, as well as the link in the last video of the description um, as to how she's treated other customers. I'm hoping that you guys will read this and take it seriously, as it is something that I'm taking extremely seriously because this woman is getting away with ripping off people. She is getting away with, uh, you know, selling wild cots as captive breads. You know, she's, as far as I can tell from everybody that I've talked to that actually knows her personally or knew her at one point, She's never had any interest in arachnids. She's never bred a spider in her whole entire life. She buys them from other people, claims them as her own, you know, and seems, from what I'm hearing from almost everybody that knows her contacts personally, um, <clears throat> you know, she's working with the scummiest people in this hobby, which really isn't surprising to me because of the way that she acts herself. She's got no business sense. She's very rude to other people. She was not rude to me, but I did right from the gate tell her, even in the last video, as you'll see, I was like, I'm not gonna put up with this. You don't wanna go there with me because I'm not gonna play that game. I'm not gonna let you speak to me in that manner. I'm not gonna let you disrespect me or disrespect my channel or anything like that. I'm not gonna stand for it. And I think because I said that right from the gate and when I did inbox her, you know, I said that, that, you know, like you were not going to speak to me in that manner. She realized that, you know, I'm not going to take her crap. I'm not going to stand for this. And that's why I'm sharing it with you guys, because I feel that if nobody else is going to stand up to her, you know, I feel like I've at least got to try. I've got to give the voice to those who just can't muster it up themselves. And I also have to think of the animals. And that's my main drive in this. People may think that, you know, it's just me trying to pick drama or whatever when in reality no that is not the case at all this is about the welfare of her animals and that's my main concern in this and the fact that she's lying she clearly does not care about the animals she can't even handle them and i mean i was not kidding when i told you guys that you know she told me not to change aggressive tea substrate to leave them in the substrate their whole entire life that was something serious that she said she's never changed her aggressive tea you know substrate because she can't deal with it she's that afraid to do it that she refuses and i'm sorry if you cannot handle what you have you were in the wrong place like yes i'm the first one to admit and i am going to explain what's on the screen by the way i'm just getting this out before i really start on this but you know i will be honest with you guys that well <laughs> sometimes i'm more intimidated by my new worlds than my old worlds but you know i know that there's a risk especially in dealing with pokies and things like that like i know that i could get bit and i know that it's gonna be really fucking painful if i do but you know i love these animals to me it's worth the risk and if you're careful you know you're gonna be fine and that to me is something that if you can't even do that then you are in the wrong place like if you can't handle these animals at their worst then you don't deserve to be here they are wild animals they are something that you have to take seriously and if you can't handle that why are you here you know what i mean like i think honestly like a smart person would not be here if they can't handle it and I will admit everybody has those moments where it's like oh my god you know like you have those days where it's like I really don't want to do this like please don't fight with me but I mean you know what it's all worth it in the end and to those who actually love and care about the animals it's worth it it's worth it's worth the risks it's worth you know the, the hissy fits they blow it's worth it all you know to her it's not it's all about money and that's what's disgusting me the most about this whole situation not just the way that she's spoken to people but it's all a dollar sign to her which hey I have to put this out there again. I'm not knocking anybody who makes a living 
off of, you know, breeding spiders or, you know, whatever. I'm not knocking anybody that does it. I have respect for people that do that. I think it's an amazing that you can make a living off what you love. I am not going to knock somebody for that. But what I will knock is the fact that if you're going to breed teas, you know, like most breeders are in this. Yes, they want to make a living. You know, they want to make a living off what they love. Who doesn't? But they also love the animals. And that's what's missing in this equation. She has no love for these creatures. It's all about dollar signs. And that's not right. You know, like she's like worse than a pet store and pet stores are not good. I don't go, I, you know, like I don't like pet stores. I should make a video about why I don't like pet stores. Actually, I might do that just to kind of get that point across. But you know, and again, too, I kind of have to explain, you know, I'm not knocking anybody as well who, who likes to have wild cots or, you know, anything like that. I just, you know, I have a stand on it just because I feel like, you know, we don't need to do that. You know what I mean? There's lots of captive breads here. There's lots of breeding projects that go on and these people that work their asses off to make sure there's captive breads in this hobby. We don't need to go to wild cots. That's my big issue on it. You know what I mean? And feeling that knowing that, you know, one of my animals has been ripped from their place, like that really bothers me. And that is a true feeling. I feel terrible for that. You know, I mean, if you know that they're wild caught and you still want to get them, that's great. I'm not going to, you know, look down upon you or judge you because you want to, you know, buy wild caught. That, that's great. It's just not something that I personally want to get into. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to judge people for that. I will... I'm going to look down upon it or I'm going to say something if you're trying to sell them as captive breads when you know full and well they're wild caught. That I have an issue with because you're lying. You're not being truthful. You know, like that, there's a big difference in that. And that's one of the things that bothers me the most about her is that she's lying about that. You know, and I have now have the proof to back that up. And that's where this all comes into. Everything that I'm telling you guys, I've seen firsthand. And this is actually what I've got you on here. When I make my inboxes public, you're going to see... That she tried to tell me, she gave me a great deal. My iPad screen just went off. I'm sorry, y'all. She tried to tell me that she cut me an amazing deal because she charged me 20 bucks for a three-inch avicularia avicularia. Leica. You guys, if you guys watch the videos ever, you've seen her. And I'm thankful that she cut me a deal. You know what I mean? Like, I would never knock that. I'm always appreciative. I'm always grateful. I'm always extremely thankful. And you'll see in the inboxes when I make them public that I even said, I am thankful. I'm extremely happy that I have this spider in my life. You know, like, I do believe that everything happens for a reason. That even happens with animals. She was meant to be with me. I am going to keep her. I'm thankful of that. You know what I mean? She's in my life, and that's something special to me, regardless of where she came from you know, she's in my life. She's supposed to be here. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to treat her differently or anything because I know that she came from the wild. You know, I feel a little bit guilty. Yes. But I love her just like I love everybody else. I fell in love with her the second I seen her. Nothing's going to change that. You know, I just kind of want to put that out there. But as you guys can see, she told me that she cut me such a deal because she typically charges $75 for a three inch specimen. Well, as you can see, Diana Pink Toe, Avicularia, Avicularia, Tangled in Webs. That's her business name. What's that say right there? Does that say $75? Where in those quotes at all do you see $75? I don't see $75 in any of those prices. Do you? Sad's new. It's not old. So where are these prices? Where, where is the $75 Avicularia, Avicularia? Three plus inch Avicularia, Avicularia, $30. Where... Where, where is the $75 three-inch avicularia, avicularia? Where is it? I'm not, I can't seem to find it. Can you? Maybe I'm just, you know, misreading it. But clearly that reads three plus inches for $30. Yes, she cut me a $10 deal. Am I thankful for that? Hell yes. I'm not going to be ungrateful. I am not that kind of person. I am thankful. But don't try to make me feel guilty for not wanting to do business with you because of how you've acted and then try to lie to me and expect me not to find this. Just like you expect me not to find out who you go to, who you badmouth, all that. Like I said in the very first video, we are a family. And if she was actually for this hobby and loved this hobby, like all the other hobbies do, she would know that. And that's another reason just to prove to you right there, right then and there, that she does not love this hobby like those of us who are in it to be in it. She's in it for the dollar signs because if you were in it to be in it, you would love the animals just as much. You wouldn't rip people off. You wouldn't treat people like crap. And you sure as hell wouldn't lie over and over and over again like this and expect your customers not to find out what you're doing. This is why I'm sharing it because all this woman does is lie and try to manipulate you and try to guilt you just to give you, just so she can take your money.
That's what she tries to do. And you're going to see that in the inboxes. And you're going to see that it didn't work with me. This is why I'm sharing it with you guys. Everything I'm showing you is legit. You can actually look up this this ad yourself on Kijiji just by simply going to the city of Toronto, looking up tarantulas, and this ad will come up. It is still there. I have screenshotted it. That way I have it in my possession. Possession. So when she sees that I'm going over it, she doesn't take it down in a hurry like she did with other comments when she realized that I was pissed at what she was saying. This girl is all lies. She doesn't deserve to be in this hobby. She's wrecking it for those who are working their asses off, trying to make a living off of this, and she's taking it. This is not okay. It is not okay. And we need to put it to an end. We need to. We need to get together as the family. And if she refuses to smarten up, then she needs to say bye-bye. It's that simple. You love these animals. You want to be in this hobby. Welcome. But if you're just in it to scam people, to lie to people, to rip people off, or to try to, you know, like, what's the word I'm trying to think of? I had it on the tip of my tongue too. I'm so mad now. I can't even think of it. But you you cannot be in this hobby and just, you know, take advantage of everybody and, you know, put the animal's safety at risk. You know, put the animal's safety and well being and their health should be the number one priority. You know what I mean? That should be the main thing. And it's not to her. It, all it is to her is about how much money she can get from you. Or what breeder she can turn you against. Or what breeder she can get involved to go after you. Or badmouth you. Or harass you. And then when you, you know, cry out for help, she's just going to tell everybody else, Oh, well, she attacked my family. I had to defend my family. I ain't attacking your family. I'm attacking this because you're lying. This has nothing to do with your family. This has nothing to do with whoever you hate or who you were with or who you weren't with or whatever else you want to try to throw in there. This is about your bad business practices. This is about your shady business ethics. This is about your lying. This is about how you treat your customers. This is about how you treat your animals. That's what I'm concerned about. That's what I'm pissed off about. I don't care who you dated. I don't care. You could, I don't care if you dated the Pope. I don't care if you dated an astronaut. I don't give a shit. That has nothing to do with this. And the reason I have to keep throwing that in there is because when you read my inboxes, you're going to see that she tries to blame not everybody but herself. And that's why I'm throwing that out there. I don't care. And that, that goes to any breeder. I don't care who you dated, who you didn't date, or what your ex did to you, or whatever. I don't care about that. If I'm coming to you and you're a breeder, I'm coming to you to get teased. I don't care. I don't mean that in offense. I don't mean that rudely. But I mean, my personal life is my personal life. Your personal life is your personal life. We're doing business. We're talking about business. Business is spiders. We talk spiders. That's what I'm here for. I'm not your friend. You know, like that. that's not what I'm here for. If I'm here as a friend thing, okay, I'm friends. But when I'm here to talk business, I want business done. That's my main priority. This is just crap. So again, sorry that there's yet another video, but she keeps digging herself into a bigger hole and I'm just sharing it with you guys. So you all can see the bed that she's making that she's making for herself. So there it is there. If you guys want this, uh, let me know and I will link it in. Uh, I can actually put it in the description. Actually, you know what? I'll find it again because this is a screenshot and I will uh, actually link it in the description below so you guys can see it as well. So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry about the rantiness. I know the past couple of videos have been ranty, but don't worry. I do have other videos coming. My channel is not just going to be focused on this crap. There are other videos coming, so look forward to that. Please take the time. I've never asked this, like I said in the last video, I've never asked this, but please take the time to share this video. I'm only asking that it be shared so we can spread the word about her in hopes to get her shut down. That is the only reason. So please, you know, share this with whoever you can. Spread the word about her. You know, the evidence is all there for you guys to see. I'm not making any of this up. I have everything for you guys to see. So please, you know, spread the word. Let's get her shut down so we can have other good hobbyists, you know, other good breeders kind of step in and do the right thing. That's my main priority. Thank you.